how to stop overthinking. Do you want to apply for a new job, buy a house, or start a new business for a long time, but can't do it due to overthinking? You might have many worries, such as what if it doesn't work out, or how will I manage it in my hectic routine? You keep falling into the dark hole of overthinking until you realize you've made a mistake. You should have started a new business, or you should have applied for that job. To prevent regret in the future, correct your habit of overthinking before it's too dark to take any steps. In this video, we have explained how you can stop overthinking. But before we go straight into those steps, let's try to understand the term overthinking. While understanding the term, while taking an important decision, we must not show haste. Instead, we should consider different aspects and then make the decision. You might think that this concept is termed as overthinking. Well, it's true and not true at the same time. Let us explain. It is important to consider the decision and analyze its different perspectives to avoid any hasty decisions. But if you start thinking about the same thing over and over without taking any practical decision, this becomes a problem and we need to get rid of that. There are two types of overthinking, or let's call it toxic overthinking. The first is overthinking about the past, and the second involves overthinking about the future. Overthinking about the past. In the first type, you overthink the events that happened in your life. For instance, a person might overthink how they looked while they gave a presentation or a conversation. Obsessing the past doesn't give you anything but a waste of time. However, keep in mind that reflecting on past events to become a better person is positive and helpful, but once you put your energy into redundant things, you only waste your time. Overthinking about the future. Some people are obsessed with their future. Instead of taking practical steps, they are constantly worrying about their future. This can be about moving to a new country, trying new opportunities, or choosing a life partner. Overthinking about the future never helps. It only stops you from taking the necessary and practical steps that might protect your future. Again, we would mention that thinking about securing your future by investing money or anything that might help is not toxic. Now you might be thinking, I completely understand that overthinking is bad for me, but how do I fix this problem or how do I stop overthinking? Don't worry, to help you out, there are some tips for treating the problem of overthinking. Analyze your thought process. You must start analyzing how your brain processes the information to stop overthinking. The beauty of nature is that all human beings are different and every brain thinks differently. Therefore, take a moment and analyze the way you think. For example, if you have the opportunity to study abroad, would you immediately take it, analyze two sides, for example, pros and cons, or start thinking about it until the opportunity fades away. If you belong in the third category, you are an overthinker and must find a solution before you regret it. If you write in a journal, you can notice your thought process in the journal. Also, some triggers cause people to overthink, so identifying these triggers is important. So they don't trick your brain into overthinking. This trigger can be social media, which will lead you to overthink your appearance, or it can be a person who makes you overthink your social status. Write it down. Whenever you have to decide on an opportunity, the best way to analyze both pros and cons and then make a decision accordingly. If pros are dominating the cons, then take that opportunity. While making an imprint decision, write about its pros, cons, and your thoughts about it. Journaling is a habit that will dramatically take overthinking out of your life. You just have to take a paper and a pen and write about the things that are floating in your mind. In the current era, people overthink a lot about their appearance. This is mainly due to social media or increased standards of beauty. Write them down to stop these excess thoughts from harming your mental health. Take 10 to 15 or more minutes from your daily routine and clear the fog in your brain by writing on a piece of paper. Find a distraction. To avoid overthinking, you can adopt different things to keep your mind busy. You can start a hobby, play with a pet, or do household chores to keep your mind busy. Some people use social media to avoid overthinking, which is completely wrong. Most of the insecurities and anxieties come from social media, which acts as a trigger. Therefore, directly going to the trigger will worsen the problem. Practice mindful breathing. 
You might have heard a lot about this method, but everyone mentions it because it works. Try some breathing exercises to clear your mind and stop overthinking. A simple practice is to sit in a relaxed position, then start inhaling the air through your nose. During this time, notice the movement in your muscles, stomach, and diaphragm. This means that being mindful of breathing is the main key here. Then hold your breath and eventually release it while focusing on the movement of your muscles. This method distracts the mind from stopping overthinking. Schedule a time to think. However, finding a distraction does not mean that you have to repress your thoughts completely. Instead, schedule 10 to 15 minutes every day to allow your thoughts to wander around. One way of doing this is to go for a walk and think about the things that are happening in your life and the things that are causing anxiety. Try to think from different perspectives and come up with the solution to your problems by the end of this session. Meditate. Meditation is done to become more aware of your current emotions, feelings, and thoughts. This popular mindful practice helps keep your mind clear and focused. You can schedule a time every day for meditating. This practice can be done alone or listen to some meditation sounds. The idea is to allow the brain to focus on one particular thing at a time and organize the thoughts to observe them from different perspectives. Consider other aspects. Sometimes we overthink about one ugly side of the picture when in fact the other side of the picture is more beautiful. Let's say your looks give you anxiety and you overthink before meeting anyone. However, if you look at the situation from a different perspective, your life may get easier and more beautiful. You can replace the, I don't look good, with every person is different and they should embrace their looks. Clear your mind by exercising. We all know that exercising will make you physically fit and healthy. However, studies have found that exercising improves your mental health. Exercises such as yoga or stretching help you release stress and improve focus, eventually leading you to stop overthinking. Exercising can also be a good distraction to stop overthinking temporarily. Try to stay in the moment. We often overthink the events that happened in the past or the ones that are about to happen. However, the main thing you should focus on is the present moment. Learn to live and enjoy the present moment because we don't have to hold on to the past, nor do we have any control over our future. Whatever happens has happened and something that is bound to happen will eventually happen. So focus on the present moment and make the most out of it because you have complete control over it. Instead of dreading the future, focus on the tasks that you can do now to complete your goals. Take action. Overthinkers continue digging the dark hole of thoughts only to discover they are wasting their time. So instead of wasting your time overthinking, take action. For instance, if you are planning to apply to a college, you might have several options. Instead of overthinking about each college, apply to all the colleges that might suit you. Taking action instead of overthinking saves you from regretting the future and also saves a lot of time in the present. So these are some of the tips on how you can overcome thinking. If you have any tips to stop overthinking, please share them in the comments to benefit others. Also, share your experience with anxiety and overthinking. We hope these tips will help you stop overthinking. Don't forget to share this video with others and subscribe to keep watching more helpful videos. Until next time, stay tuned.